Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Emily and I talk a lot about Salesforce. Today I'm gonna to be showing you how to export data out of Salesforce using Workbench. Now typically this can be done using the data loader. However, I find that the Workbench tool is a lot easier to use than the data loader, mainly because you can edit your SQL queries within Workbench rather than in the data loader. So I am going to go into Workbench and agree to the terms of service. Allow. All right, so now I'm gonna jump to a SQL query here. And then I'm gonna choose an object. For this, I'm just gonna choose leads. So let's scroll down to there, select. Now I can go ahead and choose which fields I see when I create this SQL query. And so SQL stands for Salesforce Object Query Language. So of course I want to select the ID here of the lead. Other things that'll be useful are name of the lead. And I'm hitting command and then I'm selecting it so that way it doesn't select all of these fields all at once. I also want to have the owner ID available in case we need to do change that the status, and let's find a lead source here as well. All right, now I can sort results. So I could sort it by the name of the, let's go ahead and do that, the name of the lead. I can also filter results down by whatever criteria I found necessary. So let's say I only wanted to look at my leads. I could go in and grab my owner ID and then input that in to filter it down by only my owner ID. I'm not going to do that, but as you can see now we have a SQL query here and this is a lot easier to see my query. And then if I wanted to change it, I, if I wanted to get rid of status here, I could just delete it and rerun it. It would take a lot more steps within the data loader to rerun this query than to just go ahead and use it in Workbench, figure out what I want as far as the data, and then go ahead and download it as a CSV. So if you wanted to change that, you could go ahead and change any of the SQL query here. I am going to download this now and I'll show you how to export this. So from here, what we can do is select bulk CSV or you can do XML. I like CSV because it allows me to go in and use a tool like Excel or Google Sheets or whatever tool you're using uh, and manipulate the data or move the data somehow if you wanted to do that. I'm gonna hit query and that should download for me or create this and then I'll hit the download. And there we go, we have exported data from Workbench out of our Salesforce org. I hope that you found this video helpful. If you did, be sure to give a like, subscribe. You can check out the Salesforce courses down below or on salesforceupskill.com. You can connect with me on LinkedIn or Twitter at Emily Call MBA. Thank you so much and I'll catch you guys in the next one.